Alright, hey everybody, uh, we're finally back working on the car, and uh, I finally got the new k -tune bushings pressed in, pretty good and centered there, we did a pretty good job down there, um, so yeah, basically uh, what I also wanted to do is because uh, the way the suspension works and, and all that, how you have the, the toe tied in, and you basically have to remove the toe arm from the body of the car to be able to remove this end to be able to get this all the way out from under the car and uh, so basically you get you you have to go get another alignment after after you do this it's good practice I mean, you can kind of set it close to get it there but you know it's it's always good to go ahead and make sure it's true uh, so but yes tonight um, hopefully I can get it back together before tomorrow so that I can go and get an alignment and be back on the road squared away but talking about this since I had it out and because I have to go and get an alignment anyway I figured I would upgrade some of the hardware and uh, so I went ahead and ordered the rear toe adjustment and the rear camber kit. Now I've already I've already adjusted the rear uh, the rear toe arm to uh, match up. So and substantially better than stamp steel I would say even though I'm sure these were perfectly fine but I want a little bit more uh, rigidity and the same goes for this you know I just replaced these so they're still basically good but you know it's stamp steel and I want to make sure that there's nothing nothing in the suspension that could be you know at fault for moving or whatever you know because all it takes is hitting one hard bump and roads around here aren't the nicest of times so um yeah to me this was just go ahead get it i've got the money it's already out go ahead and get it uh but i haven't adjusted moving on i haven't adjusted these uh the camber yet so basically uh, i'm going to have to adjust it out a little bit because as you can see it's a little I've already adjusted it out some but it's still you know it's still pretty short so I'm gonna have to adjust it out a little bit more and uh, run a bolt through it the bolt that actually goes through it and uh, make sure that they're the same length so you know we can get it close close enough you know the back tires on this car are still well used so I'm not too worried about driving you know eight minutes down the road you know it's probably going to be raining tomorrow so it's probably not even going to chew the tire up too much even if it, at all uh, but anyway I have to get to chopping away at this to make sure we get it all back in because uh, we've got a long ways to go and it is 8.30, so I have a feeling it's probably going to end up being a long night. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and, and get to working on this. I'm going to pause the video, and then we'll come back whenever I make some progress on adjusting these uh, out to the proper length. And then actually bolting everything on and getting it under the car, running the lines, you know, the e-brake cable through... Uh, running the brake lines through there all that jazz and then the fun part of reassembling uh, <laughs> drums so but anyway I'm gonna get to it and we'll be right back peace alright so we've gotten this far and uh, so I've got basically what I ended up having to do with this was I stuck a through bolt through it 
on the stock one measured from here to a spot that I could replicate on the bolt and then it measured out to like seven inches so I just adjusted these out to seven inches basically and you know I've still got to tighten all this down a little bit just to make sure it don't rattle loose but I've got the flare nut in I've still got to bleed it after I get the brakes reassembled and I've basically got everything kind of loose tight but tight enough to kind of hold itself in place looking a lot better still got to tighten that stuff up figured I'd wait till I got it on the ground so that you can properly preload the suspension before you tighten everything down so that you don't get any weird preload and end up messing up all that hard work that you just done or all that nice money you just spent on these parts so uh, next is putting all this junk back in here and uh, basically done it with all that a couple line wrenches a couple ratchets a couple sockets uh, jack whatever um, and then I've got this side to do so you know let's uh let's keep cranking away at it and uh, we'll see how far we make it it's what time is it oh, sh hold on it's 944 so you know I've, I've been struggling a little bit with it so you know it's kind of one of those things where it uh, never goes back in as easy as it came out so uh, that's yeah, weird. Anyway, um, let's get back to it, and I'll update you here in a few. Okay, so with a little bit of having to go and look at my book and try and make sure that I was doing it the right way, you know, because brakes are an important thing. I do believe I have it set up correctly. I will double check before I set everything on the ground, but everything looks to be in in order. Everything seems to be lining up. I need to get some new hardware and new brakes, but that'll be a later video. Yeah, everything looks good. Got the e-brake ran through. I almost forgot about that. But yeah, I got that ran through and, and hooked up under here. You can see it back here. But uh, but yeah, so I've made I've made it this far. Now I'm gonna move to the other side and uh, you know, continue making progress. I do believe it's, uh, I took a bit of a, a break, went and got something to eat, so it's been about 30 minutes or an hour, so, you know, it's kind of slow going, but it's steady, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep chopping away, and we'll get back to it. Alright, so small little update, I've got the other side completely in, I've got camber, the, so far the biggest pain in the butt has been trying to get this line to go back in and start threading man but other than that you know we're chooching along pretty well uh, still gotta gotta tighten everything up preload everything all this and that put all this on that so you know we've we got a little bit of work left, but uh, I feel like I'll be able to finish it tonight. So, uh, you know, I can finally relax, go get an alignment, and, uh, you know, get to driving again because it's been like a damn month since I've got to drive and I've really missed driving my car. And, you know, I'm kind of stoked to finally have some uh, adjustable hardware in here so that I can eventually get to the point to where I can you know possibly zero the car completely out and then you know uh, start building an autocross setting you know one for grip and then one for uh, daily use so uh, that's the plan you know I'm just gonna keep keep busting away at this keep hammering away and uh yeah so uh, i'll update you here in a few i know you probably get tired of hearing me say that but you know i'm, I'm kind of I, I gave my brother the day off today since he ran me around for the past month 
anywhere I've needed to go, so I figured I'd give him the night off, and just so happened to be the same night that I was shooting a video, so, you know, oh, eventually I'll get my brother back over here to help shoot, and it won't be so, uh, on and off, I guess, but anyways, uh, back to the grind, and I'll update you shortly. Alright, so here we are. We've got the wheels back on. Everything's tightened up. Just gotta just gotta bleed the brakes. And uh I'll probably do that tomorrow before I go and get an alignment. Uh, I'll either have like a neighbor or a buddy or, you know, if I can't, if I can't get any of those people, I guess, you know, I guess I'll bother my brother or something like that. I know he'll help, but, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm kind of hoping, you know, like my neighbor, he can kind of come over and help me because, I mean, shit, all you got to do is just pump the brake up, hold it, and then someone cracked about. So, um, yeah, shouldn't be a problem. Although it is too late to ask him to do it tonight. Or I would. Um, so I'm not going to be rude. I like my neighbor. It's pretty cool. Saved my ass with the clutch. He had like this sweet ass little uh, low profile impact. And uh, yeah. Definitely got the job done. But uh, enough of me rambling. You know. We got. We got all the juicy stuff on. And all the uh. OE stuff off, and, uh, yeah, um, I'll probably make a update video on, uh, like, how far out of alignment, something like that, so, uh, yeah, stay tuned. I appreciate everybody who stuck with me, I appreciate all the new subscribers, uh, and if you're not subscribed, uh, click that subscription down below. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button. It helps out. I greatly appreciate it. Although, I only do this for fun, so, you know, it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, but, anyways, I appreciate it. If you have any questions, comment down below. And until next time, peace out and stay safe.